BG took them charges. Mm-hmm. Them one his. You know what I'm saying? But like a real nigga was just like, I ain't gonna let my partner and them go down like that. I could take that, so he took that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Was, was, that, uh, was that BG? BG from the 13th, yeah. You know, he know where all of them from. That's why I'm asking. Yeah. So he from the 13th. Yeah. He been gone by 13 years. Yeah. He <laughs> about to come home. Y'all heard this he about to come home. Oh, it is? Yeah. yeah. I just no. left him. I like I heard BG. It. We seen him up yeah, there. No, we hung yeah. with him. Yeah. Sweet. And, <laughs> he's sweet. That nigga. He was sweet to me. Well, uh, he was cutting up a little bit. He was drunk. Them if he like, like it, yeah. He was, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He don't like it. He vicious, you know He was nice to me. Yeah. So, that's so my dog. Being, that's my yeah. being from such a uh, uh, so you uh, write him, I haven't, you know what I'm saying, but you know, I passed him through the system, you know, okay. yeah, I kept getting shipped around, you know, how it is when mm-hmm. you got too much fame and popularity and stuff, they stay on you, you get caught with a phone, get caught with some dope or whatever, this and that, and they move you around because you mm-hmm. got too much, you know, like Which, Larry Who and all of them, they, mm-hmm. they gotta lock you away from people because you got too much Excess, influence, right? Yeah. But but being from Louisiana, you went to Louisiana prisons. Yeah, I was in. I'm in the feds, so they okay. ship you around. Okay. So okay. I started out in Louisiana. So after putting in some work, you hear me? You know, I got shipped to Florida, then moved around, hit the smooth. You hear me? Like so smooth you, program. I did have, everything but ADX. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Thank God. You hear me? How, is it ADX bad? I don't know. Yeah. You're looking at me like. <laughs> yeah. So how long? Like, wow. That's, that's 23 and 1. You hear me? Like, that's one day of recreation a day. That's the only light you see. One day of recreation yeah. a day. One day of recreation a day. 23 hours in your cell. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So if you got 25 years, imagine how much free time you got. Because you all, I always heard that, you know, comp- um, State prison compared to feds. Like, feds is like a walk in the park compared to state prison. It used to be that way, but it ain't that way no more. I'd rather go to state now than go to the feds. The feds is wild. You got to knife up or wife up just to live. Mm. Yeah. Wow. So so when you when you think about uh, the whole situation with how... First of all, you didn't tell us. How did you end up going to prison? Well... <laughs> Man, I got a string up my my rap sheet is long. I ain't gonna say going to I'm innocent the first time. about you know yeah you know it's tough. Now I ain't gonna lie. My first time I went, I was innocent. You heard me mm-hmm. like because I went in for some gun charges, but I took charges for my homies. Same thing oh, BG okay. did. You know what I'm saying? BG took them charges. Mm-hmm. Them one his. You know what I'm saying? But like a real nigga was just like I ain't gonna let my partner and them go down like that. I could take that, so I'm, he took that. You know what I'm saying? And me, I did the same dumb ass shit. Excuse my language. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you I did the same taking, thing. Taking the charge. So something. after that, you came out from that. What happened the next time? I mean, I'm in the streets now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't, I'm on their radar. So every time, you know, you got to have an iron in the streets to live. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I basically told the police, every time y'all pull me out, well, y'all might well get the SWAT team, you did, because... Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna be loaded. You hear me? Like and a bum in the alley. How old were you? Sixteen, going on seventeen. So you was at a young age. You was. Uh huh. Mm. Yeah, I had to. I mean, imagine what I seen at eight years old. Pregnant women right. inserting needles inside of their cat. You know what I'm saying? Just to find that nerve so they can get high and stuff. And they nine pregnant. months pregnant. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Drugs, just people getting whacked and killed in front of you, just you don't blink no more. You're you see it so it. more, you numb to it. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? I had seen so much, so I knew what I had to do. Did you know how to love at that point in your life? I thought I did, but I didn't know what love was. Cause everything that I took in was the homies from around the way. Because they took me in, but on the cool, they was using me. Mm-hmm. Well, should I say misusing me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, misusing you. you know? How many times you were in prison? I went to the state three times. I've been to the feds once. And wow. that was the last time when you went to the feds? I just got out. How I've many been years? out a year. How I many just years? did 10. 10. Man. And, and so being locked up like that and coming home after all those years, what was the most changing thing that you experienced when you came home? 
cell phones, but electronics. Everybody and, always say that. You know what I'm saying? Like all this weird stuff, people <laughs> talking to themselves, walking around. I'm like, whoa, what the, you know, like this zombieville, what's going on? Then the corona at the same time. Like I didn't mm. deal with none of that when I was in prison. So, Because you were in prison when corona was going on. Right. How now did that you affect heard, you there? Because then I've heard different cells, different prisons was going through lockdown because of corona. No, not until recently. Because at first we knew nothing about it. They tried to shield us from that. Oh. Yeah. But and it didn't when stop people, people from visiting? getting sick and getting died. Yeah. You know, people started getting sick and all that stuff. And they tried to say, oh, it's just pneumonia. Oh, it's just, he died from this, he died from that. You know what I'm saying? Was there a lot of people dying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. They don't care. They don't care. They're going to make money off you four ways without you even blinking. They don't care. Wow. Um, So when you think about, you know, the times when you were locked up, what was, uh, I know you was in plenty of riots. What riot riot sticks out Mm -hmm. the most to you? We were just talking about this the other day. The wildest riot I ever been was behind a homosexual, man. Behind a homosexual. Now, this homosexual come in, right, and he got some money. So usually somebody going to take him up under his wing. But in the federal system, you got what's called cars. Gangs are considered cars. So you're going to come in and you're going to ride with your city or you're going to ride with the gang. And if you don't ride with that, you're riding with religion. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So either way it go, you got a knife up to keep him away from up and stay ready to keep them getting ready. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because you basically responsible for everybody else's BS. Mm-hmm. You are. Because if I'm on New York time and say two of my homies go on B Block and rob a dude from Memphis and go in this cell and take something, well, that's on all of us. That's on all of us. Mm-hmm. So when the ride kick off, they're going after everybody from my city. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's terrible. And if you don't know about it, that's the worst thing ever. To be Cut walking down the block guard. and 20 people just jump on you, just start stabbing mm-hmm. you to death. And you don't even know why. You ain't trying to fight back because you still on this, what did I do? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? What you mean by you ain't trying to fight back? They jump you, you going to start fighting back? I mean, you will, but <laughs> let's let's just be honest. The, the, the initial content is, whoa, what you tripping out? What, what, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah, so you know. Wow, so you you so were you stabbed in there? <laughs> yeah, I I, I had my feel for give, it. Uh, give me an incident where you were stabbed. You know, I go in on in this same be. this same riot that I'm talking mm-hmm. about. You know, I was on Crip Time. I didn't get on Texas Time. I got on Crip Time. What is Crip Time? I was gang related. Okay. You know, what I'm I just want to make sure because yeah. I I figured that's yeah. what it was. So I roll with that. Mm-hmm. So, um, one of my homies, they, they didn't get mad all they want to. One lay down too good up. He a punk. He a punk. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You let the dude serve you. They started off a money thing. You got him under protection and all this old kind of stuff, but you letting him suck you up and do all this. You a punk, dog. For sure. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, a Hispanic dude. From Latin Kings end up coming down the way six months later, shipped from another unit. Come to find out the punk came from that prison yard where this dude was at, and that was his thing. Mm. So when he come over here, he wanted his little bra back because mm. he know where she worked. So some way it got twisted. They got into a heated debate about it. My homie wasn't coming off the punk. You know what I'm saying? So that led to them getting into a scrap. He stabbed him. He stabbed him a couple times. They come out with the guns and stuff. They start shooting and stuff. Made everybody lay it down. They locked us down. The very moment that we came off a of lockdown, everybody knew what it was. Knife up. It's going down. And this creates more chaos than a little bit because even though you may not be a crip, he not he on something about this and that. Everything black get attacked. They ain't trying to hear it. When you dealing with different races and stuff like that, ain't no nah. Let him make it. He cool. Ain't nobody trying to hear that. I don't care how many times you're sitting spread together. 
How many times y'all got money together? So dope together. One of y'all got to die. So when the doors opened, everybody went at it. Blood was everywhere. Stabbings, stabbings, beatings. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, but I you would it. think that them security guards know that once you open them doors, that's what that was going to happen. They know. They know. And they ain't just standing by waiting? They don't run the prisons. We do. Mm. They just work there. We got to live there. So if you want to make it home off your little 8 to 12 hour shift, mind your business. Got you. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.